I uh, met him uh, met the first time two and a half years ago in uh, in Ireland. We had a very big discussion about Swedish charging for the load set and of course for the Model S. I must say now I'm a proud Model S owner from, of the first year and uh, Swedish charging is great despite the fact that we have the supercharger soon. But what about my load set? <laughs> and expect to know what the money is Well, the uh, the, the Roadster, unfortunately, does not have uh, a, hi a high voltage junction box um, in it. So the the charge port and the wiring and the whole charge system of the road Roadster uh, was never designed to take a super high power DC input directly to the pack, which is what the supercharger is. Um, so unfortunately, it's, it's not possible to uh, make it backward compatible uh, without spending a really crazy amount of money. Um, but uh, the roadster can can make use of anything up to a 20 kilowatt capability. That's um, you know in any public charge station that's up to 20 kilowatts. So and and a number of people I know have driven the cars across Europe. But the roadster really isn't intended as a long distance car. Um, and uh, and so if, so you can do long distance, but it's not as convenient as Model S. Uh, that's that's kind of the unfortunately where where it, where it has to be. No.